If you've ever wondered what supplies I use to stay organized with my six-figure business that I run from home, this is the video for you because I'm going to be going over all the shipping supplies, my organization supplies, the workflow that I use to stay really on top of things because I have to. I have very limited time with my business. I'm extremely busy with three very busy boys. As you can see, I've got my camera set up over there, so we're going to head over to the shipping station. I did just set this up pretty recently, but it's been really, really nice for our workflow. TJ loves it, and I'll show you how it works. So here is the shipping scale that we use we love it because this can be pulled out away from the scale itself so if you have a larger package it won't obscure the weight and it also flips up like this so if you have kind of a funny package that you don't want to spill over onto the table it will contain it and still weigh it so absolutely love this scale it works great here we have poly bags organized in this little cart I have set up we can go over the front but we've got a box opener here all of my eBay thank you labels are right here tucked in. I do like to put these on my packages and we can do some sample packages to show you. These help my packages to look a little bit more professional and I love, you know, saying, hey, thanks for supporting my business. You can get this with your eBay shipping supply coupon. For the store that I have, I get $50 every quarter. And then I like these little hooks down here because you could hang tape rollers or whatever you need. We have an animal hair or pet hair lint remover. And then this is for suede. You can quickly get off some scuffs there. So we just keep this in this little pocket just for convenience if TJ's shipping or I'm shipping and we need to quickly clean some stuff up. And then right here and right there, we have in this cart some larger poly bags. We have these poly bags here. These are like 12 by 15. And then these are poly mailers that are 12 by 15. So I can use my box cutter for this package that I got on Poshmark. Um, I actually couldn't help myself. I was shipping something on Poshmark and I saw this for a really good deal, so I bought it to sell. The box leaves a little to be desired, so I'm hoping that the inside is nice and clean. Wow, okay, these are actually in really good condition. These are super clean, which is so great. I thought these vans would sell very well. I paid $15 for them, so. I also have this little electric lint remover just in case there's extra pilling or something that I didn't see when I was, I usually clean as I'm listing things, but in case there's extra that I, did, I didn't see, I can quickly get that off as I'm shipping. Probably the favorite thing in my office though is my Rolo wireless printer. This was such a great upgrade from what I used to have. It is wireless, it's so easy to set up, it looks pretty, and it doesn't require any proprietary labels. You can get the labels from any manufacturer or Rolo itself. I can ship from anywhere, so TJ can come here in my shipping station and ship with the iPad. He can use his MacBook Air, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be wired into my desktop. I can continue listing and working and he can do the shipping here if we need to. I love that I can just print straight from my phone. I'm gonna do that now. I have this really cute fry bag that sold for $45 today, right in the bag. I've got my eBay thank you sticker. I'll stick right on. I will slide it into the eBay bag right here. And now I'll just weigh it. I know this is under a pound. That's why I'm using a regular poly mailer instead of a padded flat rate, 10 ounces. So right here on my phone, I'm going to get a shipping label. You can do this in eBay or you can do it with the Rolo Shipping Manager. The Rolo Shipping Manager is a platform where you can integrate all of your shopping sites. So Amazon, eBay, Etsy, and it'll integrate all of your orders and you can ship straight from there with up to 90% off USPS prices. It is 10 ounces. Okay, so I bought the shipping label and now let's print it. Okay, there you have it. We are all done. And I can put this in my outgoing packages bin, which is underneath my desk as well. You can use the link in my description to get your own Rolo. It uses no ink. It's all thermal printer, so never change ink. Never have to plug in your printer to your computer again. It is so simple and so easy. We absolutely love it. These are probably the millers I use the most. They are nine by 13, and then I've got a larger one in my cart. These are some unbranded ones, and these are 12 by 15 and they handle shoes or anything that I can't fit in a padded flat rate. All right, so we have the two sizes here and then we have the padded flat rate here. These I use 90% of the time, 95% of the time because I'm doing mostly clothing and shoes. So shoes might fit in a padded flat rate, that's great. That means it's only $8.20 to ship. But if the shoes don't fit in the padded flat rate, I will do priority mail shipping with the larger poly mailer. And it's usually, it depends on where the person lives. So it could be $15, it could be $9. 
It just depends in the country where they live. Behind me right there, that's where I keep all of my priority mail flat rate envelopes and priority mail padded flat rate envelopes. So they're all there and I have a lot more in the garage. I restock that whenever I'm running low. And underneath my desk I have boxes in case I need them for like large heavy shoes and I have craft paper in case I'm using some kind of a larger box and I need some dunnage to protect it. I do have some bubble wrap in the garage in case I need it, but it's very rare. I also have, I forgot to mention, my large poly millers. These are for like backpacks, huge shoes, very large things, very large poly millers and poly bags go in here, 18 by 24. I also put my shoes that are in a box in these as well because it is cheaper to ship things box in a bag. <laughs> Down here, I have my whatnot supplies. So I have thank you stickers as well. And I have these whatnot thank you for your purchase stickers, which are a little bit more expensive. I don't know, I might use these for eBay as well, but I don't know if I want to advertise that I have a YouTube resale channel, so we'll see. These poly mailers, hello, I'm what you've been waiting for that I use for whatnot, but occasionally for Poshmark and eBay, I'll use these. But generally, because I get the eBay shipping supplies with my coupon, I don't use paid mailers for eBay. And then over here, we have some inventory that I need to repair or clean, and we're just not gonna talk about that we're just going to pretend it doesn't exist right now you also might be wondering what the heck is behind me that's a tonal i actually removed the third shelf that i had in here put it in the garage we installed a tonal this was actually the only place in the house that they could install it because it has all these measurement specifications and this was like the only place it could go so i'm wanting to like now that i'm done having babies i want to get into like the best shape of my life so that's kind of why i treated myself and got it so i will definitely report back if anyone's interested in that okay now let's talk about my lighting setup i use a ring light overhead and then i have four magnetic rectangular lights that also go on in that corner. I think it's really important to have a lit setup. You can always start with just using natural daylight. I did that for years and it worked fine, but I like having it this way so that I can do this at night if I need to, because as you guys know, I'm busy. I don't always have time during the day to get stuff done. So nighttime is a great time to photograph in bulk. And when I'm photographing in bulk, I actually take a picture of the bin that all of those items are going in. And then when I'm listing, I have all my pictures and I have the bin number as well. So I know where all those items are and I can put them away before I have to list them. I just try to make sure that I keep that organized so I don't miss anything and nothing falls through the cracks. But usually if I'm able to get one or two bins done, I can get those listed pretty quickly using my virtual assistant. And the paper that I'm using is actually a photography white vinyl. It goes all the way up and then it curves down. I have a mannequin, just a hanging mannequin. I actually have a male version as well that I use for anything that's longer or anything that I feel needs to be showcased with a mannequin, like the form of it. So I do have that hanging on the wall and I take pictures with that if I need to. And what I like is that I can just angle my ring light up so that it shines light on that mannequin dress or the cardigan or whatever. And it gives it enough light that it shows up pretty well in a picture. And because I have all the lights plugged into a power strip, I just turn on the power strip and all of my lights come on at once. When it comes to cleaning shoes, these are my favorite things ever. I like magic erasers too, so I do also use those, but those tend to fall apart and this doesn't and it cleans just as well in my opinion. So I'll take a Lysol dual action wipe and I'll scrub the bottoms or the sides of the shoes and they look really good. And then also for shoes, I, I can't not shout out Allen Edmonds shoe polish. I've used this for so many years. I also like their leather lotion. I use this on purses. I use the edge dressing on shoes. It just helps so much to like bring that rich color back into the shoe. I have a video that goes in depth in how I clean shoes specifically, so I will link that here. Okay, and then my bins and shelves. I do have those linked. I'll have everything linked in my Amazon store link below, as well as the Rolo, obviously. We love the bins and we love the shelves. They fit perfectly without the lid all next to each other. So if you do want the lid on, TJ actually discovered a hack where if you put a block of wood underneath the middle one, then it it sits high enough that you can put the lid on all of them and they won't interfere. That's kind of how we do it in the garage because we do have all the bins with lids in the garage because, you know, 
it's a little bit more exposed to the elements so <laughs> we try to keep everything covered that way and we absolutely love them I'm able to fit anywhere from 20 to 40 items in a bin I do not prepackage them I just have the clothes in there loose because I find that I like to as I'm shipping look it over make sure that it's accurately described make sure it's the right item I can't tell you how many times before when I had things pre-packaged and wrapped I had to like tear it open anyway and guess what was in there because like I was doubting myself I didn't want to send the wrong item so I find it's just easier to do all of that at the time of shipping you guys do whatever works for you and that pretty much does it that's everything I can think of that's everything that's right here in my station it's what keeps me organized I just cannot emphasize enough how important it is to stay organized you cannot can cancel orders for not finding them in inventory or like you lost the item without getting a defect. So be really careful about that. Make sure you have all of your inventory, make sure it's labeled, make sure you know where it is. Having an organized shipping station as well is just like the best thing for your reselling business because it makes shipping a lot more enjoyable. Having a large workspace, we got this desk that gives enough of a workspace to do all the shipping pretty seamlessly without like having to work in a tiny zone. Huge shout out to Rollo for sponsoring this video. We do love the Rolo so much. It has saved our lives. We think it is just the best thing ever. I love that we can ship from anywhere. I love that he can ship from his MacBook, his phone, the iPad without interfering with my desktop. It's seamless, it works great. It's easy to tear off, it never breaks down. It's the best. But the Rolo and everything else will be linked in the description below. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, if you want more information, drop your questions in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks again, you guys. Take care and I'll catch you next time.